Good evening. Opposing sides of a hotly contested strip club are finally meeting face to face in Angola. The owner of Fort Wayne Showgirl 3 wants to open a similar business in that city. But Angola leaders are putting up a big fight. They've even changed a city ordinance and say they are prepared to spend thousands of dollars in legal fees if necessary. News Channel 15's Megan Royce continues our coverage from Angola. The hearing got over with about an hour ago, but earlier tensions were high here at City Hall in Angola as both sides called forward witnesses. What this all boils down to is whether or not the city was just in turning down Alva Butler from opening up a gentleman's club in Angola. To give you a little background knowledge, Butler, the owner of Showgirl 3 in Fort Wayne, bought the old Sliders Bar and Grill building in Angola back in September of 2012. The city denied him the right to open that up at that location. That's because they say he isn't complying with city ordinance. A sexually oriented business cannot be within 750 feet of the home according to the city ordinance. Today, the city engineer says it's within 750 feet of five residential homes. Late fall and November, the city had revised its unified development ordinance and rezoned the area where Butler bought his building. Now, Butler and his attorney are fighting that. But the lawyer representing Angola says they're going to have a hard time doing that. He, he bought the property in September, but be, long before he applied for a license, um, the ordinance was instituted. And, and our position is the deed is, is irrelevant. After the city rested, Butler and his attorney brought forward a couple of witnesses, one being Butler himself. He admitted that he wasn't sure if dancers have been physical in the past with customers. Butler claims he's not there all the time, and he decided not to talk with us after the hearing today. Now it could take as long as five days to hear what the ruling on this case will be. Reporting in Angola tonight, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.